Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically the top five running backs based on analytics. And as many of you know, I've done previous top five videos, but those videos were made all the way back in May last year. Again, those top five videos were to preview the 2017 season. I even said it in the videos themselves. So I know there's a lot of guys, I've gotten a lot of comments from angry people going, why is so-and-so not here? Why is that not here? Again, those videos were previews for the season, not the actual top five running backs based on analytics. But that is what this video is specifically going to do. It's going to look at all the running backs in this class based on analytics, and it's going to give you the top five based on that particular category. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, the top five running backs in this class is based on data. It's based on what their production was, what their athleticism traits say about them, and so on and so forth. There definitely will be some disagreements. There's definitely going to be some guys here that you think are ranked too low. But again, this is based on data. It's not based on my personal rankings. It's not based on my personal opinion. It's purely based on what they did on paper and how that translates to their potential at the NFL level. So follow that stuff out of the way, let's get to the top five running backs in this draft class based on analytics. At number five, we have Darius Geis, running back out of LSU. Uh, when it comes to his production, he had a 74.74 out of 100 uh, market share production score. Uh, based on my data since the 1969 NFL draft class, he pretty much hits five-time Pro Bowl potential uh, and even three-time Pro Bowl potential. Uh, does not quite hit all Pro potential, which is 89 or higher, but definitely a pretty decent spot in terms of his production. And when you look at the averages, at the position so the average all pro production score the average pro bowl production production score and the average starter score guys is pretty much within range of the average pro bowl score and the average starter score so in many ways based on production darius guys has pro bowl potential based on his data where he runs into a couple issues with his data the reason why he's number five on this list and not higher is because of his athleticism testing uh, he had a 46.35 out of 100 explosive lower body strength score 92.21 speed score and did not do any flexibility testing. So he didn't do the three cone, didn't do the short shuttle at the pro day or the combine. This is a little nitpicky, but again, it's based on the data. When you have a running back that doesn't do every single thing that he needs to do athleticism wise, and his profile has a couple question marks. Like again, this is not a guy that has all pro potential. This is a guy that has pro bowl potential based on his uh, production data. You're gonna have him ranked a little bit lower. So if guys had done the flexibility testing and had done well in the flexibility testing, he probably would have ranked a little bit higher on this list. But because he didn't do that, he's ranked where he is right now. Uh, bottom line is, Geis has Pro Bowl potential. If you feel like Geis should be ranked higher in your own personal rankings, that's your personal rankings. But again, this is a data-based analytics guide uh, or analytics ranking. So just take it as you will. But the bottom line is, Geis is and should be considered one of the best running backs in this draft class based on data, based on his production, and also based on his athleticism trait of speed, which hits where it needs to hit in terms of having at least one significantly above average trait for running backs at the position. Uh, then, of course, we get to number four in this list, Nick Chubb, running back out of Georgia. Look at his production data. He had a 73.49 out of 100, which again hits the five-time Pro Bowl, three-time Pro Bowl thresholds, but does not quite, quite hit the all-pro threshold. Look at the averages of the position. Same thing. He's within range of the average Pro Bowl score, within range of the average starter score. And when you get to his athleticism testing, he had a 97.81 explosive lower body strength score, 86.08 speed score, and 82.63 uh, flexibility score. So fantastic athlete across the board. Uh, pretty much hits everything you want in terms of explosion, speed, and flexibility. And that is why he's a number three running back on this list uh, because of those combination of traits. Then, of course, we get to the number three running back on this list, which is Rashad Penny, running back out of San Diego State. Uh, when you get to his production score, he had a 96.07 out of 100 uh, market share production score, which hits the all-pro potential, five-time Pro Bowl potential, and three-time Pro Bowl potential threshold. And when you look at the average scores, he's basically above what the average score is for an all-pro player, Pro Bowl player, and starter player when you look at his overall production. In many ways, Rashad Penny is the most productive running back in this draft class based on market share data. The reason why he's number three on this list is similar to Geis, did not do every single thing at the Combine or Pro or pro Day in terms of his testing. Uh, definitely had really good explosiveness, had a 59.43 explosive lower body strength score, had an 89.24 speed score, but did not do any flexibility testing. So didn't do the short shoulder or the three cone. And because of that, he's number three on this list. If he had done 
the flexibility testing and had performed well in the flexibility testing, he would have been much higher on this list, if not probably even the number one running back on this list if he had done all the testing, but he did not. Thus, he just is a guy that is going to be number three in this list. Uh, but he is another running back that, again, does have Pro Bowl potential. In fact, all the running backs on this list, in this ranking, have Pro Bowl potential based on their production, based on their athleticism testing. Then, of course, we get to number two in this list, which is Saquon Barkley, running back out of Penn State. Uh, when you look at his production data, he had a 76.16 market share production score, which hits five-time Pro Bowl and three-time Pro Bowl potential. Uh, you look at the averages at the position, he's above the average for Pro Bowl potential and above the average for starter potential. And when you look at his athleticism traits, he had a 99.13 explosive lower body strength score, a 98.98 speed score, and did not take place in the flexibility testing. Uh, and again, he's another running back that if he had done every single testing, you know, if he had done the three cone, specifically the three cone, because the one thing that holds a lot of these guys back, like Geis, Penny, and Barkley, is they didn't do the three cone. And the three cone is very, very big when it comes to the running back position. 93% um, of all multiple Pro Bowl and multiple All-Pro running backs since the 1999 NFL draft class had at least a 7.09 three cone or less. And when you don't have that information, it makes it a little tricky to project a guy when that is a very, very important trait uh, when it comes to all pro and pro bowl potential running backs. Bottom line though, Barkley, very good testing, probably the best testing back in terms of explosion and speed in this draft class and very good production as well. Not quite a generational talent though. When you look at his production data, again, he's, he did not hit above the average all pro score but is above the, the average Pro Bowl score. So take that as you will, but bottom line, Barkley is number two in this list because of those combination of traits, and just deal with it as you would deal with it. Which brings us to the number one running back in this draft class based on analytics, which is Royce Freeman, running back out of Oregon. Uh, when you look at his production data, he had an 80.25 uh, market share production score, which pretty much hits five-time Pro Bowl potential and three-time Pro Bowl potential, but misses the mark of all-pro potential by about nine points. Uh, then you look at the averages at the, at the position, hits above the Pro Bowl average, hits above the starter average, but doesn't quite hit above the All-Pro average. But then when you get to his testing, uh, had 81.82 explosive lower body training score, 84.74 speed score, and a 96.13 flexibility score. The big reason why he is ranked at number one is because one of his production traits, but also because of his flexibility testing. Um, flexibility testing is one of the bigger traits when it comes to running back, again, when I told you about the three count, 7.09 or less, big, big deal. And Freeman put up a very, very, very good three count uh, at the combo, which is why he ended up with a 96.13 flexibility score. Uh, Freeman is a guy that probably will go, I mean, honestly, Nick Chubb will probably be drafted over Freeman. Penny, Rashad Penny might even be drafted above him. Uh, Geis, definitely. So I think Freeman, in many ways, is probably one of the more underrated running backs in this draft class. If you are able to get, uh, you know, uh, Royce Freeman in day two, or even day three, even, depending on you know, whatever, whatever happens, uh, you're getting a steal. You know, this is a guy that pretty much has all the indicators that you're looking for, for a Pro Bowl potential running back. And it's just a matter of if he goes to the right team, goes to the right system, and gets an opportunity to play. And I think if he does, you're going to see a lot, a, lot, a lot of really good things from him going in the future if he does. And of course, so my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button. So you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And be sure to purchase the 2018 NFL Draft Analytics Guide. It's available on Amazon today. Uh, the link is in the description. So if you want to know about the other running backs in this draft class, if you want to know about John Kelly's analytics, if you want to know about Ryan Nall's analytics, if you want to know about all the pretty much all the running backs that were at the Combine and other running backs that are of note, by that analytics guide, it has profiles on the quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, linebackers, cornerbacks, safeties, etc. 350 plus profiles on most of the top prospects in this particular draft class. So go out and buy that. Put a lot of work into it, guys. And all the proceeds from it supports this channel. So again, go out. If you like the stuff that I do, please, please, please buy that 2018 NFL Draft Analytics Guide. And with that all out of the way, thank you, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.